But again, that band is going to be there to help you push out repetitions under extreme fatigue. The body doesn't know that you're using a band or it's getting help. It just knows that it's working through reps that it normally wouldn't be able to work through. I know you see it when it's too hard to believe in cause you're witnessing the closest people leaving what's going on YouTube you're back with the prayers bringing you another workout down here in Hallandale Beach today's gonna be we're gonna be following the same principles lower intensity high volume bodybuilding style calisthenics as you guys know I've recently switched over to more of a antagonist muscle group split so today we're staying with that routine pull push high volume supersets so all I have strapped on right now is a 15 and a 10 so 25 pounds total weight like I said the lower the intensity the higher volume you could go per set remember this is gonna really be targeting that sarcoplasmic hypertrophy I'm gonna be teaching you guys my favorite methods as well as increasing repetitions with pulls and dips as well so we're gonna be getting in a lot of reps today break periods are gonna be short we're really been going for that pump training right now and remember, that sarcoplasmic hypertrophy, a.k.a. the pump, it's very effective for building muscle. You're going to get a bigger muscle, and a bigger muscle means more potential for a stronger muscle, meaning you could rep more weight in that more myofibril hypertrophy hyper 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 rep ranges, right? Where you're in that lower volume, denser muscle fiber training, as opposed to the sarcoplasmic pump training. So we're going to be going six total hard sets today. Each set we're going to be dropping the weight, meaning lower the intensity, but working on getting more and more reps. So, superset style training, let's get it. Full range of motion, clean reps. Again, max reps again, we call 14 on the pulls. We're going a minimum of 20 on the dips right now, guys. Fourteen pulls, twenty dips for the first set. In between each set, my pops will be doing his sets. So I'll probably be getting about two minute break. Tops in between each round. Each round I'm gonna be lowering the intensity, trying to up the volume. Let's go. Got it. All right, guys. So you guys saw my pops since he moved down here went from doing band assisted pulls, and he was just getting strong with his body weight dips. This is the first time I strapped on some weight to him. Let's see what he's getting. He got a ten pound kettlebell on. Let's see how the dips are looking now. Let's go. Come on. Just give me three to five. A little lower. Good. Good. Two more. Fucking money. That's what I'm talking about. Even though he didn't go as low as he does body weight, that's his first time ever doing a weighted dip. I didn't even... Ever, I never had him do a five pound weighted dip before or nothing. This is the first time I threw weight on him and had him try weighted reps. So for his first time, that's progress right there, guys. Look, 70 years old in a couple weeks, living down in Florida now for almost three months on the strict training program, getting stronger every session. All right, guys, set two. My pops just finished his set. So I dropped to 10. So we just had the 15 pound kettlebell on. Now, like I said, every set we're going to be working on increasing the reps from the previous set. So how are we going to do that if we're going to be under fatigue? So I call 14 pulls, 20 dips, set one with the 25. 
So now I have the 15 strapped on. I'm gonna go rep out, body weight pull-ups. If I don't hit 14, as soon as I'm done, whatever I hit, I'm gonna jump into the red band, keeping the weight on until I hit 14 or better. Then I'm gonna drop right to the dips. Again, 20 plus. If I don't hit the 20, I will have the red band set up to assist me in getting more repetitions out at the end of the set. But every set we have to push out more reps than the previous set. So, set two, 15 pounds on. Let's go. Sixteen unassisted. We're going for twenty again unassisted on the dips. Fifteen on guys. Superset antagonist. One right after the other. Again, 16, 21, that was two more on the pulls, one more on the dips. Told you, decreasing the overall intensity, increasing the volume, keeping each set just as hard, really keeping that blood pumping, working on that sarcoplasmic hypertrophy, aka the pump. Let's go, we got four more hard sets to go. Let's get it. All right guys, this is my pops' second set. Yesterday he hit all body weight pull-ups, so today I'm just gonna have him start his second set with a 10 pound dead hang. I'm gonna stretch the lats out again, antagonist muscle group to the dips. Five, four, three, two, come down. Right to his second round of dips. Got the 10 pound strapped on still. Let's go, try to get to 90 at least. Give me another five. Easy money, don't rush, clean. Nice, up, one, clean. There it is. Nice, let's go, two more. Good money, one more. Woo, that's what I'm talking about. All right, let's get it, guys. Third set, we drop down to just the 10. So now we gotta hit 16 plus on the pulls. Same principle, if I don't hit it with the first set, with the 10, I'm gonna drop right into the red band, keeping the weight on until I hit 16, and then 21 plus on the dips. Let's get it. All right, I'm dropping right to the band, guys. I could have pushed them out, but it would have fatigued me way too much. I was 15. Nice. 17. Extra four assisted or five assisted with the band. Let's go. 21 plus. Little catch 25. This set with just the 10. That's three sets down. We got another three rounds to go, guys. Remember, six hard sets total. 
So that's six back, six chest focus sets. Let's get it, guys. All right, guys, third set. Again, he's starting with 10 second dead hang with the 10 pound weight on. Five, four, three, two. Let's go. Remember, his focus today is chest work, dips. He's just doing a stretch, pre-exhausting the lats just to get some antagonist muscle group in. And again, because he trained a lot of pulls yesterday. So now we're going to be doing, again, drop set principles to increase volume, working on increasing repetition. So instead of him hitting five with the 10, he's going to go for three good ones, and he's going to drop the weight and go for max reps body weight. Let's go. Easy, a little lower. One, let's go stretch. One more. Good, drop the weight right away, right here. Let's go, max reps. Look at that pump in the arms, let's go. Clean, one, all the way up. Two, light work, let's go. Three, three more, minimum. Four, easy, clean. Five, one more. Good shit. All right guys, fourth round, all body weight sets now. And again, you guys saw last set, we utilized the red band to help us finish, finish repping out with the 10 pounds. So we're going to dead the red band now, just because the overall fatigue is going to be really high now. So we're going to go max body weight reps, then I'm going to drop it to the black band to get me over the 17 rep mark. So, fourth round, let's go. All right, pull it down. I'm not gonna let go of the bar. I'm gonna have my pops pull this band down for me. Good, let go. I'm good, let go. Still on the band, 12 in. So then what we're going to do, once we hit the 17, we're going to start repping out just short range of motion as max as possible. So once you fatigue on the full range, you just want to keep pulling, keeping those lats under tension now. You guys want to increase your reps, try these methods out. Let's go. Now if I need the red band for the dip assistance, I'll drop in it. I'm just going to set it up. Not going to get in it yet. We caught 26 body weight, which was one more than the previous set of 25. So we didn't even need the band. Four rounds down, guys. Okay. Two more tough sets to go. Let's get it. All right, guys. This is the fourth set for my pops. We dropped the weight now. No more weighted sets. Again, still starting with a 10-second dead hang. Six, five, four, three, two. Let's go. Now he's going to go right to max. Body weight dips, then he's gonna go right into the red band and keep repping, so hold the band up to start. Don't go in it, rep in front of it, and then don't even let, just put your knees in when you're fatigued, but just do regular reps first. Let's go. Up, one, clean, two. He's not using the band yet, guys, let's go. Four, two more, five. Now right into the band, get your knees in. Get him up. Good, right in, let's go, keep repping. As many as you can get. Good. One. Clean. Two. You guys want to increase your reps? Utilize these principles. Four. Keep going. Five. Give me ten. Let's go. Six. Let's go. Seven. Easy. Eight. Nine. One more rep. Good money. Woo. Sixteen. It's hot out here. On the here. second set. Hey, it's really hot out here, guys. Good thing we got the tarp. Houndale Beach bars. Nice park out here. Let's go, guys. We got more work to do. All right, guys, fifth set. 
Now we threw up the black and the red band. So again, max body weight reps. I gotta get to 17 plus on the pull. So when I fatigue on body weight, I'll drop into the red and the black band. Then I'll just drop the red band again, bring the red band to the dip bar. We gotta hit 26 plus on the dip. So we're getting real fatigued now, guys. I'm keeping the brakes really short. Trying to keep that blood in the muscles, really working through that lactic acid buildup point. Let's go. Two more. Give me those bands. All right, good, let go. Let's go, guys. 10 in. Seventeen, and then as many shorties as possible. Woo. Bring the red band to the dip bar. Let's go. You guys see crazy pump right now. It's that high volume training. A lot of lactic acid buildup, a lot of metabolites, a lot of blood being pumped to the working muscles, a lot of glycogen, meaning a lot of carbohydrate stores being broken down for these type of training sets. I'm stopping at. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm in the way. 27. I had to drop down into the band after 15. But again, that band is going to be there to help you push out repetitions under extreme fatigue. The body doesn't know that you're using a band or it's getting help. It just knows that it's working through reps that it normally wouldn't be able to work through. That's how your body adapts. One more set to go, guys. Let's get this money. All right, guys. Six set, last set, best set. I ain't gonna front. I had to take a good three, four minute break in between set five and set six. That fifth set murked me. I was extremely fatigued. So again, max body weight reps. Now I got my heaviest band that I got with me, the gray band on. I got to get, I'm going to go for 20 plus on this clip. So whatever I hit body weight, drop right into the gray band, get the 20 plus. Then I got the black band already set up on the dips. So again, max body weight. Then I'm going for 30 plus on the dip set. Let's go, guys. Two more. Ready? I got it. Let go. Let's go. 12 in, guys. That's like 23 and then a few shorties. Let's go. 30 plus on the dips.
All right, guys. That was another 35. That was six sets down, pyramiding down in intensity, increasing the reps every set. Set one, 25 pounds. Set two, 15. Set three, 10. Three body weight sets for the remaining four, five, and six. Then we utilize bands again after each body weight set to increase the volume. So again, high volume, pull, push, body weight only calisthenic routine. Again, this high volume training. Obviously, you're not gonna be working with max loads, meaning max intensities. So the intensity has to be lower. So if you can't, you don't have to use any weight. You guys can do this all body weight and then start just utilizing bands to add more volume to the reps. It's gonna really help you increase your reps or whatever exercise you're utilizing this method for. And again, it's really gonna work on that sarcoplasmic, AKA the pump hypertrophy training. So hope you guys like this. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like the video helps the algorithm out. Share it with your friends, your family. Hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed yet. And like always guys, if you have a question or comment, leave it in the comment section. I always get back to you guys. Peace out. Born Naturals. Sad story, I ain't here for a symphony, no sympathy. When I was on the bench, you wouldn't sit with me. Now I'm on the court and I'm balling, my time's coming.